if you look in there, you can actually see how the trigger mechanism works. And you, you sometimes hear people refer to the sears. That is the sear there, and that is where it does that. And then when you pull the trigger, that comes out, allows that to go forward, hit the hammer, fire the cartridge. If you watch that hammer there, when I pull the trigger, that hammer's flown up, hit the firing pin, which has hit the primer on the, on the cartridge, and fired the cartridge. OK? And when you recut the ram, so then that drops into that sear. And again, if you watch, as I pull the trigger, that will let that fly up and hit the firing pin. You've got two different types of trigger. You've got a mechanical trigger and an inertia trigger. A mechanical trigger, you pull once, and then you pull it again. You then have an inertia trigger, which relies on the recoil from the first cartridge to allow you to use the second cartridge. So you have a small bob weight. So when you fire the gun the first time, OK, you pull the trigger, bang, and that flips that bob weight over and then allows you to shoot the second barrel. The thinking behind that is that you are less likely to get double discharges. Now, in this day and age, really, you don't get double discharges. When I first started shooting, uh, there were a lot of very cheap guns around, made of cheap metal, uh, and they wore quite quickly. So every now and again, you start to get double discharges from a gun. Double discharges when you pull the trigger once and both barrels go off. Um, because even on the reasonably priced guns, uh, the quality of metal and the quality of manufacture has improved so much, it's very, very rare that you'll ever get a double discharge. Different people like different trigger pulls. I've always liked a very light trigger pull so that. Uh, um, you don't have to tug on it. Um, on some of the uh, less expensive guns, they tend to make the trigger pull a little bit heavier. And the main reason they do that is for safety. Now, if you have got a reasonable, inexpensive gun and they're too heavy, you can actually get a gunsmith to reduce it. And what they do, they reduce the amount of pressure it needs to pull it. As you said, on the sear there, they can just blow it off so it's up there a bit further to pull it less. Um, generally, I suppose the favourite trigger pulls are about three and a half on the first and four pounds on the second. But some people prefer slightly lighter, some people prefer slightly heavier. Again, it's personal preference. But 99% of the people are happy with what they get when they buy the gun.